and welcome to my channel. I'm Talisha and I also go by Creativity by T on YouTube and on Instagram. And today I want to share my most recent make and talk about my experience with the pattern and fabric. And there will also be a slideshow of pictures and clips at the end of this video. So if this is something that you are interested in, then please continue to watch. So today's pattern features Simplicity 9056, which is this pattern here. And the reason why I picked this pattern was because my middle son turned three years old in the beginning of March and I wanted to make him something special for his three-year-old photo shoot. I originally planned to make his shirt using Simplicity 9194, which is actually this pattern right here. And I actually cut it out and put the whole shirt together minus the collar and the collar stand just to realize that I misread the pattern and there was no way on earth that he could fit it nor could my youngest child that is one that he couldn't fit it either. So apparently I must have read the pattern wrong and I don't know maybe I was tired or something but I, I totally missed it and I ended up getting Simplicity 9056. The good thing about it is I was able to find this pattern during the 99 cent sale at Joann's to complete this project. So it all worked out in the end. So again, this is Simplicity 9056 and it is described as children's and teen boys classic, relaxed and slim fit shirts. The pattern recommends fabrics such as broadcloth, chambray, cotton, cotton blends, linen, linen blends, and stretch wovens. I use a cotton and Kara wax print fabric that I purchased from House of Mami Wata, and it is absolutely just awesome. It turned out so great. <laughs> I absolutely love it. I wanted his shirt to be in Akara fabric and I thought this was the best fit as far as design for the season and for a male because sometimes I feel like it's hard for me to find an Akara print that is more masculine and I just felt like this was perfect. So the pattern comes in three different styles, which are classic view, which is view A on this pattern. It comes in slim fit, which is view B, and relax, which is view C. And I made my son the slim fit version of view B. The pattern sizes come in two different categories. And for the children, the sizes range from three to six, and I cut a three for my son. And for teen boys, the sizes range from eight to 16. So this is a pattern that I could use for a very long time, which is a bonus. So the pattern has a total of 10 pattern pieces, but I only needed to use seven to complete this garment. The instructions were easy to follow with the exception of how to turn in the continuous lap portion of the cup prior to stitching the cuff to the sleeve. So I pulled a ready to wear shirt out of my son's closet to look at it and just kind of, you know, study how that was done. And for me, I'm a very visual person. And so once I looked at it, it was like, oh, OK, yeah, got it. So I was fine in the end. What I liked most about this pattern is pretty much everything, almost everything. But to be specific, I like the fit options. I like how there's three different categories, which is the slim, the classic, and the relax. Um, but I especially like the slim fit because it looks very, very tailored on my son. Um, it almost reminds me of how the Vogue patterns look on men and I like the curve hem at the bottom as well. So yes, I am very, very glad that the previous pattern did not work out because this looks so much better overall. So what I didn't particularly like about the pattern were not terrible, but for one, the placket for this pattern is not a separate 
pattern piece. So it's built in the front pattern pieces of the shirt. And because of that, you can't make the placket in contrasting fabric unless you wanted to draft a, a placket piece on your own and eliminate the extra fabric on the original pattern piece yourself. And that's not something that I want to do. And so, you know, no. <laughs> so that's the reason why I would, didn't particularly care for that. And my second gripe is the collar. Uh, the collar is all one piece that folds down and it has no collar stand. So at one point I would have been okay with that because it allows for fewer steps in the construction process. But I think I prefer having a collar stand and a collar because I personally think it just lays better and looks better. And lastly, this is a very big dislike because this issue could have caused this project to go way south and that is the sizing is off by a lot so let me explain on the pattern envelope there are usually two areas of sizing one is the regular size chart that is like on the flat here that you see and one is the finished garment measurements which are always at the bottom area of the back of the pattern envelope and i looked at both to see where my son would fit in with his chest measurement of 20 inches and he fell in the category of size three on the envelope the standard size chart for size three's measurements were 22 inches for the chest and 20.5 inches for the waist. The finished measurements were 24.5 inches for the chest, which to me doesn't make sense. But now, help me out. If I have calculated wrong or if I am misunderstanding, just help me out. But if the finished measurement is 24.5 inches for the chest and my son's chest measures 20 inches it seems like he, there should have been four inches of excess fabric to move around like i mean am i wrong but let's just say the shirt for some reason fell into the unfinished unfinished measurements of 22 in the chest he still should have had at least two inches to move around like i said just help me out because the shirt was like a perfect fit there's zero extra room for growth which is disappointing because i wanted him to at least get a year's worth of wear out of the shirt and i don't think that's gonna happen because he's a girl and toddler and you know when you take your time to make something special for someone you do want them to be able to wear that particular garment or whatever it is have it for a while so like i said i don't think that's going to happen yes he will be able to pass this down to baby brother but the measurements were off and it could have gone very very south like i said before because it's a perfect fit and he's not going to be able to wear it long and if it were any smaller he would not have been able to wear it at all so let me know in the comments below if I did something wrong or if this is an error on the pattern company. So the only thing that I did differently while constructing this shirt was I did not stitch in the ditch to secure the interior portion of the cuff to the sleeve. I used fabric tack instead because that area was so little and I didn't want to take the chance of any stitches being visible in that area and I just kind of wanted a clean a look with no stitches. When I make this again because there will be a next time the only thing I would do different if I use Ankara fabric is to not use any interfacing because the wax and stiffness in the Ankara fabric is sufficient enough and my machine had a couple of hiccups with stitches in the interfaced parts of the fabric and I have never had that issue before so I am contributing those hiccups with the thickness the overall thickness 
So the skill level for this pattern is not listed on the pattern envelope or in the description, but in my opinion, intermediate or advanced beginner or above due to the continuous lap, buttons and buttonholes, and you know, putting in a collar. My overall thoughts of this pattern and my experience working with it is nothing but great nothing but great I put the shirt on my son prior to finishing it and I was going crazy because of how awesome he looked in it I was so so excited and so at that particular time I was so excited that I took a picture to send it to my husband while he was at work because I was like this is just so awesome sauce <laughs> I paired a shirt with a new pair of shoes that was purchased with his birthday money and it was a perfect match those that pair of shoes was a perfect match and these shoes are called Nike Dunt um, he has new glasses new sunglasses that were purchased from the children's place and slim cut jeans that were also purchased from the children's place and there you have it my simplicity 9056 make for my son here for his three-year-old photo shoot i am overjoyed with this make it is so special to me <laughs> so remember i am making a matching shirt for my husband and that is going to be for their father-son pictures so you will see this fabric again but it will be a different pattern so um I am going to make a few subtle changes to the pattern so that it's not 100% identical to my son's shirt so you'll just have to stay tuned for that one. Thank you so much for watching my video and if you have not done so already I invite you to subscribe to my channel and click the gray notification bell so that you can be notified whenever I upload a video and I do upload weekly. Thank you to all my returning subscribers for sticking with me and to all the new ones for joining the team. Don't forget to click the like button and I will see you in the next video. Peace.